keep it moving. I say yeah, 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 yeah. Gotta keep it moving, moving. Gotta keep it moving. Gotta keep it moving. I say yeah, 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 yeah. Gotta keep it moving, moving. All right. What the fuck is up, everybody? So, this is the second episode of Get to Know X. And if you saw the previous one, hell yeah. Thank you for the support. Appreciate that shit. This one, it's going to be covering... Um, it's going to be covering my dreams. And certain ones. Certain ones that have connected with me um, throughout the years. And... Um, I think it's kind of, I don't know, it's really trippy because it sounds kind of comical, but then to think like, okay, what is the deeper meaning of dreams? And um, I feel like because of my experiences with the dreams I've had throughout my lifetime, things that have stuck out and I feel like that these are alternate realities in a way and I feel like the reason why we're able to dream of some of these things um, is because maybe we share the same spirit or soul throughout these alternate realities because it's kind of a, like an extension of who we really are. And in each alternate reality, we kind of drift off into another path. And every so often, you get one that's on the right path. And so, that's that's one thing that I've always found trippy to think about. Of course, I'm not going to spend my time on this video trying to convince you like that's that's it. You know, like that's that's what's up. That's what's actually going on. No. But I'm just, you know, explaining what I feel like is going on because of what I'm dreaming about. And so that's what today's episode is going to be about. So let me, let me, uh, let me get ready. So. Where do I start? I believe, I believe the start of this dream was when I was, I, I was maybe, maybe in like sixth grade. So I was 11, 12, somewhere around there. And I had this first dream that stuck out to me and that I remember from start to finish to this day. And it started out with me in this library looking place the lights were very dim orange kind of like red color to it and i noticed that there was a lot of guys in suits sitting down and they're reading something books or whatever and i remember walking through it through the aisles and then i got to this one one room where it was kind of spacious and um this I guess devil, demon looking thing came around and started attacking me. And the reason why I call it demon devil looking thing because it resembles a man but also like a beast type look to it. And he was also red. So that's what I saw it as. And so we started getting into the scuffle and all that stuff. and. Um, he eventually charged at me and pushed me and I thought I was going to go into the books, the shelves, but it's like we teleported to a big, big swimming pool. And so I'm at the edge, I'm at the very deep end and I'm at the edge and he has me and I look over to my right and I see my mom right there and I'm like, what the fuck? And then... I look back at him and I see 
the pool and all the people that are there and they start screaming and I remember thinking like what is going on are they screaming because of us but then I saw some of them pointing up to the sky and I looked up and I saw this missile like coming down at us and my mom just said close your eyes and so close my eyes and I just remember closing my eyes and hearing ah. it was like all this terrorist scream and it just went completely dead silence and all I heard was my mom's voice saying hey are you there you still got your eyes closed and I was like yeah and so she said, okay, on three, we're going to open them up, and wherever we are is wherever we are. And I was like, all right. So we counted down, and as soon as, my, as soon as I opened my eyes, that's how I woke up that morning for that day for school. So it's like I had a full transition from dream world to reality without it being disrupted by an alarm clock or someone waking you up or a noise, whatever. It's like if it had a full transition. And it was just, that dream always stuck out to me. I'm like, I can't believe we counted it down. And when I opened my eyes, like that was me waking up to reality. And that dream is what started all these other series of dreams. Since then, I was around 11 or 12 since then. So since then, I've had dreams where I've hurt a lot of people. And I don't mean like just innocent people, like people that stuck out. Um, and it, it was consistently like that throughout my life to the point where I started categorizing this as I feel like some type of assassin like if I was going to a certain place and time and everything to actually kill somebody and um, just to give you a brief example of one dream I'm, uh, that, that stood out to me it started with me walking down this hallway and um, the wallpaper, it looked very um, traditional Chinese art. And um, I got to this one room where it had a balcony. And I saw somebody up there. And we locked eyes. But as soon as we locked eyes, I got punched in the face from my right. And so, I guess it was this guy's soldier or whatever but it was a chick and she started charging at me and this was a really good good fighter but I don't know what I did I just remember seeing her come at me and I just saw my hands do something like this and then next thing I know she was falling to the ground and went right when she hit the ground my fists were just mm, mm, right here on the neck and you like I remember feeling the cracking of the neck and hearing the the gargle of it. And then like I slowly just looked up at him because she she didn't get up. After a couple of seconds she just stopped moving and she just stayed still. And I just remember like him looking at me. And that that was it on that one. Then I woke up. But that that's that's an example of what I'm what I'm talking about is that there was other similar things where I've gotten into scuffles with people and I've actually either killed them or really hurt them. And so after so many years of having every so often dream of like that, recently I had a dream that I felt like that painted the full picture of what's really going on and it is very fucking disturbing. So this dream 
kind of made me want it to do something where I talked about certain dreams and all that. But because of a recent conversation I had with a friend, it inspired me to make the whole episode about this particular dream um, and why I feel like it has connected with me throughout the years of my life and how trippy and weird it would be if what I'm thinking of what this actually is you know could be true and it could be really fucking crazy and um so that's why i'm going into this one so throughout the years and maybe maybe i'm just maybe this is my brain you know putting all this together because of thoughts i've had because of all these other dreams but earlier i mentioned that i see these as assassin dreams that's what i feel like in these dreams like if i'm an assassin or something so, in this recent dream I've had, I actually didn't hurt anybody, didn't kill anybody. So it starts off with me being at this, it almost looks like a swamp area. And in the middle of it, there's like an island and there's this building there. And you have to take a boat to arrive there. So my dream started with getting off the boat. I see a lot of these other dudes there. I walk upstairs into this room. And in this room, I sit down with three other guys. And then there's just one other dude that's there that's talking to us about something. I, I don't know what the fuck he said. All I remember is that he brought in this woman that was in this I don't know what to say she was she was on this thing that was having her bent over she was completely naked and she was bent over and I remember looking at the other guys and they looked really I guess disgusted and scared and I don't know what the other the main guy was telling us but in my brain it's like I just knew what I needed to do at that moment and so I reached up and went in her ass and I pulled out this key now what the fuck and it's so crazy because I've never dreamt of anything like this and I've had a lot of fucking crazy dreams and everything But this one in particular, like, that right there, that moment was really what the fuck to me. But I, you know, I don't know why in my dream I just looked at the situation and I was like, that's what I got to do. That's what they want me to do. I felt like it was maybe like a test or something. Especially because afterwards, this other guy walked in. And he gave me the vibe of, oh, this is, this is the boss. And he walks up to me, nods his head, and he starts talking about, like, come here, come walk with me. And I just remember walking out of that room, and all I heard was three shots. So I'm assuming that, you know, they killed those other other motherfuckers. I guess the test was to see, you know, who was daring or who who doesn't have you know a conscience or I don't know whatever the fuck but anyway so we're walking down this hallway he's talking to me and he's telling me things about it saying that like so what I'm about to show you is our main operation that we're doing here and you're gonna be my right hand man and all that And as he's talking and we're walking down the hallway, I'm hearing what he's saying, but I'm not like, oh, yeah, fuck yeah, you know. All I keep thinking is I'm supposed to get close to this guy so later on I can fucking kill him. And then we get to this room and he, he stops and he turns around and he tells me. So that that girl that was in that room. She's nothing but a copy. She has no brain. 
nothing she's just a copy of our original that we have here and then he flips over the fucking wall like it turns around and shit and it's the main chick the original girl and she's all just hanging there and she's like she's like not like you know there's regular you know fat people and everything but that's not what I'm trying to explain she she looks like very swollen and very fucked up she has all these tubes like you know inside her skin and she doesn't look conscious or anything it looks like they just got her like barely living you know just to keep supplying like DNA samples I guess that's what I was getting from all this and she just looked very fucked up and then afterwards he walked me to like the balcony of the building and he was just talking to me at this point I don't know what he was telling me I just remember looking out of the balcony and this was the end part of the dream but what it left me with was that I'm bound to this place until I get rid of this motherfucker and that the only reason why I'm there is because he has something on me and so that's how my dream ended and so it paints this picture that like all the other dreams I've had it makes sense you know now with this dream and it kind of it kind of makes me think like damn if that alternate reality stuff is true there's a me out there that is really this guy and I'm like when I tell you that I, I have these dreams they, they, they're so real so real to me so it made me feel like I was bound to this place and that I was kind of just stuck there and trapped working for whoever and everything till I actually got up to the main guy and so now I'm just I'm just waiting to see if I have another dream that kind of sees what happens or anything but it's just an example of like how far my mind goes and there's been other many other motherfucking dreams i've had where my mind goes crazy and um you know what fuck it fuck it i'm gonna give you another example okay um so this and you know what? Maybe this one, this maybe this one is you know one that goes with the whole assassin thing, but I I don't think so because usually the ones that I feel like that connect with that, you know, I really hurt them or kill somebody or you know like that's it. You know, I don't see them come back. I feel like this dream in particular, it's just showing like. How much of a mind fuck a dream can be and so this is this is very very trippy but in this dream it was the middle of the night and I went up to my sister's room to my parents room and I had a silencer and while they were sleeping I shot him and the way I was moving was just so weird in this dream I almost felt ghostly as in like I felt like I was floating because after you know after my sister there's just a hallway going to my, my parents room and I felt like I just like just slowly you know, moved over there and then I went to the living room and we have a couch 
And um, I sat there. And I was like, damn. I really just did that. What the fuck? And I started thinking, like, I started, you know, the reality started kicking in. Like, eventually someone's going to notice something's is off. Um, the cops going to be called. They're going to be looking for me. I could run. Or I could just stay here and all that. Like, I was having all these fucking thoughts and everything. I was like, damn, you know, I'm going to go to prison and, you know, do this and all that. Like, I was just having all these thoughts come into my head. And I was like, fuck, dude. Like, what the fuck? And the next thing you know, the light turns on. And they all come out. And they're doing their own thing. You know, getting water or looking in the fridge or, you know, turning on the TV. Like, they're all just, you know, doing normal shit. And I'm just sitting there like, wait a minute, what what the fuck? I was like, then I just... And I was like, whoa, whoa. And then that's how I woke up. It's like I tripped out so hard at what just happened that I just... I woke up like, what the fuck? But I mean, that, that dream always fucking stood out. And it felt very fucking real. And I, um, I just always thought like, damn, bro. Like, you know, why, why did I dream of that shit? I don't have any hate towards my family or anything like that at all. And yet, you know, I just did that like cold bloodedly. Like, I don't know. But it was a it was it was a very mind fuck. Very, very mind fuck and it was it, it's weird to explain how you're dreaming of something and your dreams, you know, are defined as something that your brain you know makes believe and yet it makes believe something that is make believe in, in, in something that's made made believe and it's just like what the fuck so that's why i question you know what the fuck is actually going on and how it all connects so i'm gonna go ahead and end this episode uh episode two of get to know x and hopefully you find something interesting and thank you for viewing thank you for the support like and subscribe if you haven't already and um yeah i'll see you next time